Okay, so welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. Great family movie. First question I want to ask is to you. Uh, there's a scene in here where 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 you and Martin are are joking about mm -hmm. you being his security, and we we go way back to Martin when you actually were was security. was security. Did you foresee your career? Was that like a ploy, like you was just trying to get in and trying to get to this point in your career? How did you go from being security on Martin to be an Academy Award nominated? Actor? I know I had to put myself in the right, the right presence. Whenever you want something, you got to visualize it. You have to see it. And when you see it, it's nothing that nobody can tell you. So I knew once I started working security, I told my boss, put me on a set. Put me on somebody's set where they can look at me, where I can learn what they're doing and they can see me. And from there, it just kind of avalanched down, and you know, here I am. Wow! How long ago was that? About ten years ago. Wow. Yep. And that's the story. And why are you approaching me? I just didn't hear you. I said, "What you looking at me like that for? Ain't nobody scared of you." What did you say before that? Don't let what? Don't let chitlins, cornbread, ham hocks, cheese sticks, or none of that raise your kids. That's what I said. Oh, you got hostility? What? what what's happening? This ain't your little brother no more, oh? I'm a grown man. You know, I don't get ass whoopings, I give them out. Mm hmm You're an officer here in Mayberry. Come on, what you carry, a flashlight and a baton? I can tell you what, maybe if you're a good old boy, I hire you as my security. Yeah, I got the pull, I can do it. <laughs> Big ass Enjoy you model, you know, student at Yale to this week. <laughs> Student, <laughs> nonetheless, yeah. and and. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, <know> that. <laughs> I dropped out and started modeling. So. Now you're this leading, this leading lady actress. Oh, that's crazy. How how did how did you make that transition? How did? Well, when I was <clears throat> when I was at Yale, I I wasn't at the drama school or taking classes. I, acting wasn't something that I would even, I thought, honestly, I thought thespians or theater people were kind of crazy. Because okay. we are, actually. Right, yeah. now we are, now you <laughs> right? see. Now I'm like, they're nuts, and now I'm one of them. <laughs> and you know, I, I left Yale, I, I started modeling and traveling the world and everything, and people were always suggesting that, you know, you should take an acting class, you know, you'd be good. I'm like, why, what are you talking about? Like, I never got it, and then I, I took a class, and I'm like, wow, this is really cool. And not so much to like, I'm going to be an actress, I'm going to do all this stuff, but I actually like class and, and, mm -hmm. and the technique just for myself. And then I started auditioning, and within that year is when I basically started. So, okay. you know, I mean, relative, I mean, it, it was this, I mean, I know there's, that story doesn't happen very often, and there's many people who struggle and, and do like, so I mean, I, I do know that I definitely kind of like got in, yeah. like, through the side door. But, I'm but you're holding your own. Here. You're here. <laughs> oh, my baby's home. Hey, mama. How you doing? <laughs> well, well. Look who showed up. My grandson's father, Dr. R.J. Stevens. Been a long time, Dr. Stevens. Dad, that's just a stage name. Yeah, I know. Oh, and this is Blanca. Oh, pretty girl, Roscoe. You must got some Indian in you, all that long, pretty hair. <laughs> Roscoe, you been eating? You all skin and bone. Don't look like I never nursed you. Um, <laughs> I know, doesn't he look fabulous? <laughs> yeah, he looks fabulous, all right. Downright metrosexual with them young ass pants on. Oh no, you should have seen his ensemble before his little accident. It was exquisite. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Better than this? I and, and, and Michael, what's this dichotomy? You're like this big guy. Some people be intimidated, but you have this nice demeanor. Like how, how, how do you cast yourself as a, or how do you portray yourself for casting for as a nice guy when, you know, most people, you know, might be a little intimidated by you. It's easy because that's <laughs> that's part of my personality. I very rarely try to get mad and upset and things of that nature. But when I do go there, then it's a totally different <laughs> ball game. But it's, it's kind of easy to do that. It was, it's easy to draw for things like that. Just like it's easy for me to, to go play somebody like the Kingpin in Daredevil. I can do that too. So it was very easy for me. When I got the, <clears throat> when I got the script and Martin said he wanted me to play his brother Otis, it was just honor. Since I had already been to security on his set, then now he actually wanted me to be in this movie. So it was honor for me. Okay. 
And you, going back to your Yale roots, mm -hmm. the current president is is from Yale, so I would think that you're at least as smart, maybe smarter than the current president. Smart. Do you have any direction for I the nation? Dog is smarter than me. <laughs> I mean, like, that's not really saying much. <laughs> well, if you was in the position, if you had a leadership position, do do you think you would have any suggestions for this nation since so many leaders have come out of Yale? Wow. Um. Yeah, well, I think, I think a few things. I think people, one, need to educate themselves more. And it's not just about the schools that you go to. You, you, you can read a newspaper mm -hmm. or read about what's going on in the world outside of where you're from so we can have a better understanding of people, of everyone, people that are different, similar. And, um, yeah, I think, I, think, I think just being more critical thinkers and just having a better understand of the wor understanding of the world can, can start. Yeah, cool the compassion and understanding within ourselves. Right. I don't know, I think.